on Highway A1 near Lausanne in Switzerland. Here, under the asphalt, an archaeological dig is underway on this ancient Gallo-Roman site. It's a long, time-consuming job, which has been made easier in recent times thanks to new technology. Today, Olivier Fay is making a 3D map of the dig using a drone equipped with a camera. It takes a photo every one and a half or two meters to make sure the whole surface is covered so that the photos will overlap, enabling us to measure the archaeological dig in 3D. It's a true revolution for archaeologists and helps them save a lot of time. Before we had this kind of technology, everything was done by hand. Each wall was drawn by hand, each layer was drawn by hand. Now, this new technology enables us to do all of that on a computer. It takes the drone just 10 minutes to take all the snaps needed. They are then processed by computer and transformed into highly precise 3D data. The photos are downloaded into a photogrammetry program, which allows us to assemble them. Here, each blue rectangle represents the position of a photo taken of the site. Then, thanks to GPS, we're able to establish a metric scale and a reference horizon for this 3D model. It's a precious tool for archaeologists, which also benefits the greater public. It's a very rich source of data for us, and it also means we can make these pictures more accessible to the public, put them on the Internet for everyone to see how the dig is progressing. Robert Michel is a prehistoric ceramic specialist. He also has a passion for new technology. He wants to share his passion with visitors. An archaeologist is able to stand in front of a pile of ruins and imagine what it used to look like in 3D, to see the different rooms of a Roman villa, for example, and what they were used for. That's not the case for ordinary people, who just see a pile of stones. They see nothing beyond that. Here's an example, the ruins of a Roman villa in the town of Vic. Visitors have to imagine what it used to look like with the help of drawings. So Robert has made an entire 3D reconstruction of the site on the social media website Second Life. It's both a way for visitors to discover the site online and a scientific tool. Some English and American universities make use of this technology to visualize ancient sites, thanks to these digital models which are easy to handle. A few kilometers over the border in France lie the remains of the ancient Roman theater of Mondeur. Here, visitors are able to go on a visual journey back in time thanks to a simple tablet. What we have on this tablet is a 3D digital reconstruction of the theater using GPS so that when we stroll through the theater we can see how it used to be in 3D. So we can see, for example, that the surrounding walls were around 10 or 15 meters high. It gives you an idea of just how large the theater was. How a little imagination assisted by 21st century high-tech can help mankind understand a great deal more about the past.